This video illustrates how you can e-sign a generated document with the DocuSign integration for Xperido. Probably when you create a document today that needs a signature from the receiving party, like an agreement or a contract or an order form for instance, you need to go through quite a lengthy process. Typically what happens is that the document is first created or handcrafted and then attached to an email which is sent to the party that needs to sign. The recipient prints the document, signs it pen on paper, scans the signed printout and attaches that document back to an email sent to the party that has initiated the process. If that party needs to countersign, then we will have to go through the entire procedure again. It's pretty clear that there's room for improvement here. With the DocuSign integration for Xperido, this cumbersome process is reduced to a couple of clicks. Here's how it works from a CRM user's point of view. First of all, you select any relevant record in Microsoft Dynamics CRM, a contact record in this example. You click the Experido document command to bring up the document template selection window. There's a template here for each of the e-signing scenarios Experido support, that is in-person signing and email signing. Let's start with in-person signing where all the signing parties are present in the same room. This is typically a scenario, by the way, where you create the document on a tablet or another mobile device and pass the mobile device on to the party that needs to sign the document. You simply click the Quick Generate tile and that will produce a link to start the e-signing procedure. The link takes you to the DocuSign Digital Transaction platform where you're invited to pass controls to the other party. The signing party, Renee Valdez in this case, can click Start to go to the place where she needs to sign the document and then click Sign here to do the actual signing. She can opt to use a predefined signature or draw one herself. Let's do that. Now I'm doing this with a mouse on a laptop right now. It'll be a lot easier with a stylus on a tablet. She can receive a copy by adding her email address right here. The other scenario is the signed via email scenario where the signing parties will receive an email invitation to sign the document. It starts in the same way. You select the right template and you click Quick Generate. The feedback line on the top of the screen indicates that a document has been generated. Both parties that need to sign will now receive an email from DocuSign with an invitation to sign. From there onwards, the procedure is pretty much the same. So you click Start to go to the place where you need to sign and we'll use the predefined signature here for a change. The other party receives the same email. Let's refresh the inbox to collect it. And there you go. As you can see, the document has already been updated with a signature of the first party. After the second party has signed, both parties will receive an email with the fully signed agreement attached. From an Experido administrator or designer's point of view, to enable a template for e-signing, you tick the Start DocuSign Digital Transaction option on the More Settings panel of your template in the Experido Management Console. This will also enable you to personalize the email message and the name of the document that will be processed by the DocuSign Digital Transaction Platform. So, in a nutshell, that's how you can use the Experido DocuSign integration to e-sign documents created by Experido for Microsoft Dynamics CRM.